Hey boys and girls, how's it going? I haven't uploaded in a while, so I figured I'd cast a game. I've got a nice little 2v2 Arabia on the Wall of Low Kingdoms mod, and it is between Aftermath, uh, MBL, and Nikov here, and they are going to be playing against, now you might not recognize these usernames, but they are well-known players. So we have um, Fat Dragon over here, which is one of the best Chinese players in the world. He goes by VV usually, but he changes his name all the time. He was so big Diao in Nations Cup. And over here, Please Trust Me is actually the Canadian player Hera, uh, who's recently gotten back into the game and is doing really well and is taking 1v1s from a lot of the top players recently. So pretty good 2v2 here. Um, MBL is going to be playing as the Portuguese, and he's a long way away from his ally Nikov over there. I noticed both of these teams very far away, closer to the enemy actually. MBL has an extremely open map on this side. You can see secondary gold, both of them out here. He's got a stone out the front. Luckily his gold is at the back, although kind of weird around that wood line. He does have one wood line to take though, but nothing other than that, so he's going to have to be very, very careful not to be cut off there. Nikov, his ally, is the Huns player, and it looks like he was just using his scout to lure in that boar. He didn't actually lame. Um, he's got a decent map over here. He's actually got a quite a good map. He's got two wood lines that are pretty deep, so they can't really be ranged. He can wall there. Um, he's got gold on the hill, but it's at the back. Main stone near hills, but once again, kind of far away from his enemy. And he could wall on this side as well, or even far forward if he wants to, and secure a lot of his base. So he's looking pretty good. Hera, or please trash me over here, has a wood line of his own, kind of far forward. He has the option at the back, though. Also with the back stone, or sorry, gold, which is very, very nice. Just bringing in the boar now. Backstone as well. And his secondaries are kind of far forward. He has to secure this area for the late game. Finally, on to VV, aka Fat Dragon. He's got a backstone. He's got one, two, three wood lines. Harris saying fuck. I don't know why. Didn't look like he lost a villager or anything. Might have killed a sheep by accident, or a boar by accident with the TC, I don't know. Or might have done- I don't- I don't know why he was saying fuck, I'm gonna go back to- I'm gonna go back to Vivi. Vivi's got three wood lines he can take, already walling up at the front. Sucks that his main gold is here. Probably wants to wall around it, rather than to it. And now, <laughs> Vivi <laughs> just saying fuck you, I don't know why, what is going on here, he's pushing in the deer, that looks good for him. I'm so confused, I don't know what they're talking about, but... Hera is saying, me, man at arms, forward. Can Nikov see this? Nikov sees the barracks coming down. So as soon as he sees... Um, he has to assume that Hera is going for man at arms, because it's a bit late for a barracks for a drush. So he'll see... Hera's score drop, and he'll know. He might not know about the forward though, maybe Hera wants to follow up with some archers uh, with those man-at-arms. We'll see. If he manages to get through here, that's a big deal. Or he might actually go through this side since there's two secondaries for Nikov there. And the stone as well, and that's a very important spot over here. Fat Dragon saying he can't go up. He can't! What happened? I guess he got... His boar stolen by MBL, typical MBL stealing his boar. I didn't didn't notice that, but <laughs> even with the deer being pushed in, maybe he got some sheep stolen as well. Oh, it looks like he did. Maybe either two or four sheep got stolen from Blue, and he's forced to put down so many farms, so many villagers on the berries, so many yes. deer being pushed in, and fully walling. So I think at this point... Like, at this point, does Hera even go forward? This is ridiculous, because Vivi is going to be so walled in. Like, look at this! This is ridiculous! Fortress. He's making a fortress. Vivi's going to be so walled in that Nikov 
and MBL, if they try and pressure him, they're just going to go right to Hera's base. And of course, if you have a forward, really, really tough to defend your base when all your army is at the front. MBL seeing the walls now. He sees that he walled to his main gold, which is an important piece of information. VV just, just balls to the wall, literally. Balls are in the walls right now. He's using everything he can get. Man at arms coming in from Hera. He's coming in with the villagers. Gonna put a tower. That is an ambitious tower. Right there. He's putting it at the bottom of the hill. Nikov trying to respond with villagers. He's got way more. Of course, Hera's in here with the man at arms. He could do some damage. Is he gonna pick some villagers? He is within range of that TC, so that's gonna be an issue. Also, first archer already out from Nikov. He's got two archer ranges. Can he stop this tower from going up? No, he can't, but he might be able to batter it down with villagers. Still, Hera really, really delaying Nikov, getting him off the gold. Nikov needs that gold to produce the archers. That was his whole plan. He's going to have to go into skirmishers now. Doesn't have enough food to go into skirmishers, so he's only going to have these four archers to begin with. Doing a smart thing, garrisoning them in the tower. And using the villagers to batter down Hera's tower. Let's see what kind of defenses Hera has at his own base. Okay, so he's decided to go instead of the forward, he's gonna go for military bases at his for military buildings at his own base. Uh, for defensive purposes. Looks like MBL coming forward with archers now. Archers is gonna be very, very slow in this situation. I was going to turn down the volume, but then I realized I was at the lowest volume, so I just please. turned down my desktop. I don't know volume balance. Come on, man. Look at this. Nikov knows he can't engage with that tower. He's going to wait over here with the archers to pick off the villagers when they finally come in, but... Going to lose a few. Going to lose a few archers to that tower. Definitely delaying Nikov over there. And what does VV do? VV is going up to Castle Age. VV is going up to Castle Age. He is his home civilization. He is the Chinese. And now MBL coming into Hera's base. Hera only with one skirmisher here. He might be able to kill one archer. Nope. And is he making more? Yes, he has one garrison. And of course, VV's scout is over here. So MBL, like I said, Archer's very, very slow. It's going to take time for them to get over here. And Hera's got two skirmishers now. MBL has to retreat from this. He's going to lose at least one, maybe two Archers here. Maybe all of them, actually. I, I mean, I don't know. If you know your guy is going full walls, are you still going into Archers in this situation? That's a long way to walk. Meanwhile, Hera's tower finally going down, and he escaped with two villagers. Don't know how long they're going to last, though. Nikov's on the way. And MBL sneaking over to this side right before Hera can wall. Hera has one skirmisher over there. He's got to send more. He's going to see it now. He's going to see it now, maybe. Where's that vill go? Where's she going? She's running. And his vills are still alive. This could be dangerous for Nikov, given enough time. If Hera manages to survive fine against MBL here, it could be very dangerous for Nikov if Hera gets some sneak buildings in the back there. Let's take a look at what Vivi is doing. Vivi is a very strong player. Obviously, he had a really bad start um, from the laming from MBL. Knights now on the way. No upgrades yet on those knights. He's getting bow saw, so he's opting for the boom first strategy. Hera trying to clear up these archers. Don't think he's lost a villager at his own base yet, and MBL's going to lose his whole army here. Of course, he lost two villagers over at Nikov's base when he tried for that tower. MBL still not on the way to Castle Age. Nikov clicking up now. And what can VV? The question is, what can VV do here? What can he do with this castle age advantage? You see, 
He's at 35 villagers, so he's gonna be probably a little bit ahead of Nikov when Nikov hits casual age. But he's gonna have those knights, which Nikov can't really fight here with archers without fletching. So how much damage can blue do before those upgrades come in? MBL also just camping his base. I don't know why they both decided to go into archers. It seems very strange. If one player makes a counter unit, it counters both your armies. Usually you want two different types of compositions. And now the knights are in. No fletching for Nikov. It's just coming in now. Hera getting wheelbarrow. I'm on his point of view. He should be clicking up the castle age soon. BB, how many TCs does he have? One, two... He went double stable, but he didn't get any upgrades, so he's keeping up the production for now. But once he starts getting those upgrades, he's he's going to be pretty short on food and gold. Yeah, you can see he's already short on food. They need to do damage to Nick off here before MBL can get in the game. Hera over here with skirms, trying to kill Vils. Those skirms don't really do too much damage there. One villager going down, but at the loss of a knight, not really worth it. Nikov coming over this way. Hera sees him in time. He's yelling at Vivi. Send no. a knight, send a knight. Two knights. Three knights. Fucking send them. And now he's going in this way with the skirmishers. I, I like... I like this. I like the fact he's built a sneak market, but also that Nikov can see that. Nikov remembered that those villagers escaped and made this outpost here. So he could see if any shenanigans were going to happen. Also came into the base here from Hera. Looks like Hera lost two units. Don't know if they were villagers or not. Having to shift to that back wood. VV now shifting over to try and deal with Nikov. Only plus one on these knights. No bloodlines on them. So they're going to get wiped up pretty quick by these crossbows. If VV doesn't pay attention. But he's in. He's in on Nikov. Killing two villagers. Nikov trying to transition into cavalry archers. Where the hell is MBL? MBL is on the backside of Hera. Hera is just getting pounded this game. And now he's running with all his economy. That's so, so bad for him, and look what I said, Vivi losing the knights to the crossbows from Nikov. Not doing too much damage at Nikov's base, it's not looking good for Hera and Vivi here. Vivi's knights still wandering around, he finally has bloodlines, Hera's starting to get elite skirmisher, but look at all the idle, 16 idle villagers for him, only 37 total, and he's going to lose a lot more here. Both sides. Nikov coming in from one side. MBL coming in from the other side. Fang Zhen. Or sorry, not Fang Zhen. <laughs> I get all these Chinese players confused. VV on three TCs. And he has the villager lead. But is it going to be enough? I don't think so. Harris lost so much here. Down to 29 villagers now. VV's really going to have to carry this game. Third stable now for VV. Plus two armor coming in. Army's being wiped up here, but Hera doesn't have anything. This is what happens when one player just decides to go naked FC and wall. The other player gets super punished for it. MBL didn't even bother trying to go towards VV. Nikov obviously already against Hera, and they 2v1'd him. Husbandry coming in for both players now. Nikov and Vivi. Vivi and Harris stabilizing on this side. But obviously, MBL with three TCs as well, so... He's gonna start catching up in economy, building up his army numbers. Hera not really in a position to do the same. Dropping a second town center, he's gonna try and catch up. He's like 25 villagers behind, and these cav archers are just going to keep running and keep picking off villagers. Good from Hera to notice that right away. And everything that Vivi and Hera are doing right now is just responding to the other team, which you, 
you never want to be in that position. You always want to be dictating the play. And the other team responding to you. Nikov's going to head over here. See what he can do with these cab archers. Feng Jin. Ah, I keep saying Feng Jin. Vivi. He's got units running around here. Nikov's going to pick off some bills, actually. I don't know where they were going, but... Unfortunate for Vivi that he showed up right then. Vivi at 80 villagers. MBL at 68. Hera at 36. And Nikov at 60. Big battle here. Vivi losing a lot of army. A lot of knights for free there. He's got to save his army. They got to trap this somehow. They got to wipe this army up, but I don't think they have enough. Vivi only with 11 military, even with plus two. That's not enough. Mangano coming out of this forward siege workshop. Another TC coming down on the secondary gold from MBL. MBL getting ballistics now. He's going to be able to pick off those knights whenever he feels like it. Nikov might be looping back around to go hit Hera's base. See Hera dropping a third TC now. Still has to catch up on villagers. MBL coming forward with his crossbows maybe into this Mangonel if he's unlucky, but I think Nikov's going to see that, going to micro that down. One big shot, but not enough to kill it. And here we go. Here comes the fight. Remember, MBL has ballistics, so he can just run away, snipe, run away, snipe. Gotta watch out for this Mangano, but that's about it. Hera behind with these skirmishers could be doing damage. He could actually win this fight. Great shot. I thought that Mangano was going to die. Really, really great shot from, Le or from uh, Vivi there to get something out of it. And they're pushing this back. Castle coming down from MBL. He does have these spearmen as well to help counter the knights. Skirmisher is doing really, really well against these army comps from the Aftermath team. And... Oh, <laughs> MBL walling in his villagers, but a Mangano coming out at the perfect time from Vivi. And now Vivi's going to drop a tower on here. MBL's on the way to Imperial Age. He's not going to have this castle up in time, though. Is the comeback? Is it possible? TC is up now from Vivi. He needs to go up to Imperial Age. I don't know what that was trying to kill. Oh, MBL trying to get the castle down! He needs the castle for his Imperial Age upgrades. Okay, we're back. There was, um... There's a little save and restore action going on there, so hopefully this game turns around. I've also adjusted some of my volume settings, so it might be a bit different from the first half. Had a solid, like, five minutes of waiting for this to get going again. Looks like the castle from MBL got denied. Hera trying to catch up on villagers. He's only ten behind MBL now, and Vivi, so fucking strong, man. This is why I love Vivi. Such a beast once he gets his economy rolling. He's coming forward with a castle on MBL. He's trying to deny this second castle from MBL. He's got a Mangonel here. MBL's going to get that castle up. Lost a lot of villagers to do so. Nikov fully over here trying to help his ally. And Vivi just pushing him back now. BB still not up to Imperial Age. Looks like MBL actually cancelled his upgrade. Or maybe it's just not just not showing up on the Yeah, it's just not showing up on the spec dashboard or spec overlay. It is at 97%. Remember, this is MBL's secondary gold here, and this is his other gold as well. So he's gonna be really strapped for gold. He's running out here, only four tiles left. Don't see any neutrals near him. So he's going to have problems going forward with that gold income. Nikov still over here giving Hera time to boom. This could be an epic comeback from Hera and Vivi here. I'm just going to close my door. It's fucking cold in here. This could be an epic fucking comeback from Vivi and Hera. 
see Vivi just wandering around freely with this Meganel in MBL's face. MBL has nothing on this side. Try, actually, trying to drop a castle here. He's going to get a castle down to range this gold. That's huge. What a sneaky castle from MBL. Won't be able to hit the villagers yet. Doesn't have the final range upgrade for that. Meanwhile, on this side, Vivi trying to kill the trebuchet from MBL. He's going to get it. Hera coming in here with skirmishers for more harassment. Hera now at 86 villagers. He's got more vills than MBL. This is insane. Vivi with this pressure. Now he's got two castles going into Chukanus. He's got this extra gold. He's got knights as well, making more stables. Just keeps pumping out the knights. 124 villagers for him. He's 20 vills ahead of Nikov. What's Nikov doing on this side? Looks like he denied a siege workshop from Hera. Built building a couple of his own so if Hera can hold against Nikov over here I think Vivi can push MBL pretty good once he gets all the upgrades and obviously those Shukanus aren't fully upgraded yet he's going for organ guns I think more because he just has the castle here to produce them than as his final plan for unit composition Hera doing a good job countering the army from Nikov. Oh, that wasn't good, though. Massive, massive Maganel shot there from Nikov on Hera's units. Hera now at 92 villagers. He has three TCs, maybe even four. No, looks like he has three. Still doing pretty good over here. No sneak villagers left for him. Vivi mercilessly pushing into MBL's base. So many knights here. Getting the Cavalier upgrade as well. He's getting capped ram. To push MBL. MBL going into Pikeman. Don't think he can afford Halberdier as of yet. What a game. What a game here. If Hera can hold... MBL's got a lot of pressure coming down on him. If Hera can hold, MBL's going to be in big, big trouble. He's already in big trouble. The castle's going down for him. That's not going to stay up. Is the castle from Vivi going to stay up? If he gets through here with these Cavalier and kills this Treb, it will. MBL's just relocating every part of his economy over to the bottom side here because Vivi is coming in hot. Chukanu's coming in now. No full upgrades for them yet. They're more of a supporting role right now. Tons of trebs out for Vivi. MBL pushed off that gold. He's finally taking this one, but Vivi can see it. If he sends a few units over, he can deny MBL off gold completely. Now he's sending Cavalier over to help Nikov. Vivi is going full beast mode this game. Hera is as well, actually, because Hera was so dead. And now he's at 102 villagers. Hera is officially back in the game. He's in Imperial Age, getting Arbalest, getting Cap Rem, getting Bracer. Chemistry coming in for him as well. Ethiopian Archer, so, so strong. Oh my goodness, Vivi, you monster. You absolute monster. Just crushing it. Now coming over with the Cavalier. And can, can Nikov deal with this? If Vivi runs into his base with those Cavalier, can Nikov deal with this push? You see Hera coming now. Siege Workshop going down for him. MBL is pop capped at 95. He has no space to produce units. He's forced to panic some houses down. Vivi's still pushing forward. He's going to kill this castle with these trebs. There's nothing from MBL to counter this. As long as he keeps his Chukanus there to counter the pikemen from MBL. No upgrades on those pikemen, by the way. I think he can take this down and deny MBL off gold completely. He's coming in here with Cavaliers now. If he gets into this wood line onto these stones from MBL, he could do a lot of damage. Where is Hera's army? Hera's army is over here. He's going to push on the bottom side. He's going to get Siege Ram and try and push this hill with these castles. If he gets that, that's a pretty big deal. Vivi is still over here. And it's hard not to fanboy over Vivi. I always do. I did a Nations Cup. I do in expert games. He's such a strong player. 
And so many people just don't know who he is, which is a shame, to be honest. Unfortunate for him, tossing away these Chukunu. Did not expect Nikov to be here. He's putting a castle up on this hill to range that TC from MBL. MBL is stuck in the corner with these villagers. Now he's heading over here with the Trebs to try and clear this up. Just push MBL closer and closer to Nikov so they can be stuck in a corner there. No trade possibility for the Aftermath team currently. He's going to do fine against this, these pikemen and these cav archers. He's got enough cavalier here. He needs to unpack his traps and start hitting. There we go. More ca cav archers from Nikov heading over. But now here comes Hera and so many rams, so many skirmishers, so many halberdiers and arbalists. Going to be really tough for Nikov to take this out. He needs some sort of melee unit. He hasn't been producing it. He's only been producing cav archers. So the, the siege ramps from Hera can be very, very tough for Nikov to stop. Elite Tarkin upgrade actually in from him. And now he's pushing in the middle. So Nikov kind of shifting his focus. Maybe he's going to get Marauders um, to make Tarkins out of the stables. And then he can start braiding the bases from Vivi and Hera. Siege ramps coming forward from... Hera more and more to clear up all these production buildings. He's going to be into Nikov's eco pretty soon. What can Nikov do against this? He's coming back with some army, but that's not enough to counter this. DB still pushing in, clearing up all this economy from MBL. MBL's only at 72 villagers. Look at the other team, 130 and 116. DB is all over this gold. He's been using up gold like a madman with this insane push. Think about it. Trebs, Siege Ram, Chukanus, Cavalier. He got Heavy Camel. That's so much gold income. He needs all that he can get. And he actually had two of MEL's secondary golds to take. Hera, meanwhile, still pushing in on this side. MEL signaling the markets there from Nikov. But I don't know where they're going to trade to. Nikov trying to get more production buildings up. They're going down to Hera's army. Hera has so much army over here. 73 military. What a comeback from him. The monastery with the relics is going to go down now. And Vivi is going to continue to push in. Continue to kill villagers from MBL. The beast has been awoken on this side. And now it's shifting focus from MBL's old base over to where Nikov is. He sees this castle as well. He's going to deny that. That's a huge deal. MBL was on these two stones. He's already taken them. So that's really the only resource he has. And now Nikov sending in his entire army to try and deal with this once and for all. Tarkins are going to take care of the rams. Cav Archer is going to take care of the halberdiers and the other units. Castle coming up from Hera on the hill, but he is into Nikov's economy. It's kind of hard to keep track of what's going on here. There's battles everywhere. Another castle coming down from Vivi. Losing some trebs to the pikemen, which is never good. Not enough Chukunu there to support it. Also, this castle might get denied from MBL. So it's about how much damage Hera can do in Nikov's space here. How much can he wipe up? He has no units to really follow these rams up with. Still, the rams by themselves are doing decent damage. And Nikov's calling the GG! What a comeback! What a fucking comeback from these players. Hera was at 29 villagers. Hera was like 20 vills behind both the other players. And Vivi, just with that, he had such a bad start and he decided to just wall, fast castle, and then he just went full beast. And I'm glad that I recorded the second half of this game after that restore. And I'm sorry that it got split up in the middle there, but this is... Definitely a great game to cast. Really great performance from Vivi. Really great performance from Hera. And Nikov and MBL, I can't help but think it was a mistake for both of them to go into archers like they did early. They just couldn't hold against that. MBL with those two golds forward. Really unfortunate for him. What a great performance from Team China and Canada. Let's go.